Hello everyone. Today in this module we are going to study about the strategies adapted for abiotic stress tolerance in plants. Crop plants are mostly affected by both abiotic and biotic stresses. Abiotic stresses like drought, heavy metal toxicity, salinity, extreme temperatures, etc. severely impair the crop's productivity and growth. Thus, there is an urgent need for us to understand the metabolism, the molecules, the compounds which are required to combat this abiotic stress. The learning objective for this modules are to understand what is abiotic stress, how it is perceived, signal transduction, the general strategies adapted by plants to combat abiotic stress and the different biotechnological approaches which are there to understand the regulation and the pathway of abiotic stresses. General strategies adapted by plants against abiotic stresses. Here are the three common strategies adapted by plants against different abiotic stresses like escape, avoidance and tolerance. Stress escape strategies are nothing but completion of plant cell cycle or stress sensitive life, cycle, life stages of plants in advance of the onset of the abiotic stress. Maintenance of plant water potential even under dry conditions is called an avoidance strategy and this helps the plants to survive under stress conditions and is achieved by various morphological and physiological changes. Tolerance is an ability of plants to cope up under water stress for sustained cellular functions for its growth and development. Generic pathway for plant response to stresses. This schematic diagram represents the generic pathway for the plant's response to different stresses. First, the extracellular stress signal is perceived by the membrane receptors such as GPCR that is G protein coupled receptor, ion channels and RLK or receptor like kinases. Then it activates the signaling cascades intracellularly including generation of secondary signal molecules such as calcium, inositol phosphate, abscisic acid and ROS that is reactive oxygen species. Subsequently the signal cascades result in expression of stress responsive genes both early transcription factors or late genes. The products of which can provide the stress tolerance directly or indirectly. Thus overall the stress response could be a coordinated action of many genes which may cross talk with each other. Abiotic stress signal transduction may take place either by abscisic acid dependent or independent pathways to regulate multiple stress responsive genes. This is the schematic representation of ABA dependent and independent pathways of stress signal perception and gene expression at cellular level in plants based on the established concepts. The ABA dependent pathways are under the control of an ABRE element and BZ transcription factors whereas independent pathways is controlled by MYC and MYB family of transcription factors. Here is the list of different genes involved in plant responses to different kinds of stresses. These genes can be grouped into functional genes and regulatory genes. Functional genes include those which are involved in synthesis of osmoprotectants and antioxidants. Whereas the regulatory genes include transcription factors such as the ABREBs, BZ, BRED family, NAC family, 
MYB and MYC family. These regulatory genes exert their action due to presence of cis elements at the promoter regions of abiotic stress responsive genes. Here is the list of different proteins and enzymes involved in plant response to different kinds of stresses. The proteins and enzymes are that of ERF family, BZIPS family, Berkey, MYB family, NAC family, LIA family, heat shock proteins, LOX family, LOX family and some enzymes which are responsible for oxidative stress. Here is the list of different metabolites and hormones involved in plant responses to different kinds of stresses. Some of the common metabolites and hormones are abscisic acid, salicylic acid, jasmonic acid, polyamines, proline, phytoalexins, terpenes, phenolic compounds, alkaloids, ROS and some unsaturated fatty acids. Crop plants and their respective cultivars transformed with glycine betaine synthesizing genes. Glycine betaine is a quaternary ammonium compound electrically neutral over wide range of pH values and is an excellent solvent in water. Glycine betaine has three methyl groups with quaternary ammonium group enabling its interaction with hydrophobic as well as hydrophilic compounds to stabilize the membrane proteins. Several species of plants, algae and microbes synthesize glycine betaine. The cultivated plants like spinach, wheat and sugar beet and other organisms such as halotolerant cyanobacteria, E bacteria, Arthrobacter globiformis, etc. are known to synthesize glycine betaine. But several economically important crop plants such as tomato, rice, potato do not synthesize glycine betaine and are called as non accumulators of glycine betaine. Here is a list of crop plants and their respective cultivars transformed with GB synthesizing genes. Proline is the extensively studied osmolite proposed to function during drought and stressful situations of plants. Besides osmotic adjustment as a sink of energy or reducing power, protector of plasma membrane, a source of carbon and nitrogen or hydroxyl radical scavenger. Proline is known to increase during abiotic stresses as compared to normal conditions. This is due to induction of proline biosynthesis genes, signaling molecules, ABA and calcium mediated phospholipase D and also presence of stress responsive cis elements in protein biosynthesis pathway genes. Here is the list of transgenic plants developed by enhancing proline accumulation and abiotic stress tolerance. This is the schematic diagram of abiotic stress induced ROS production and cell death. Like other stresses, abiotic stresses also have secondary effects such as oxidative stress due to production of ROS via singlet oxygen, superoxide, hydrogen peroxide and hydroxyl radical. It is known that chloroplast, peroxisomes or mitochondria are the main sites where ROS synthesis pathways are present and hence they exhibit intense rate of electron flow in the cells. These organular membranes constitute PUFA that is polyunsaturated fatty acids and there is heavy oxidizing reactions and lipid peroxidation takes place as a result of plant cells face the problem of oxidative stress under stress conditions. In addition, oxidative stress also damages proteins by amino acid modifications, peptide chain breakage, changes in electrical potential of cells and makes the cells vulnerable to proteolysis.
In case of DNA, it causes sugar-based degradations, cross-linkage with proteins and DNA strand breakages, leading to heritable genetical effects. Therefore, ROS have an ability to damage cellular macromolecules while lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, etc. and under severe circumstances, death of plants may occur. Major mechanisms of soil tolerance are osmotic regulation that is by synthesis of compatible solutes, antioxidant product protection, iron homeostasis, different sodium transporters in particular vacuolar and plasma membrane sodium hydrogen antiporters, iron homeostasis like different sodium transporters in particular vacuolar and mem plasma membrane sodium and hydrogen antiporters, signaling and transcriptional control. Next we will talk about the regulation of iron homeostasis by iron pumps. The salinity stress signal is perceived by a receptor or salt sensor present in the plasma membrane of the cell. This cell is responsible for activating various ion pumps present at plasma and vacuolar membranes. This signal activates source that is salt overlay sensitive pathway the components of which regulate ion pumps. Various ion pumps are potassium inward rectifying channel, KIRC, histidine kinase transporter, HKT, non-specific cation channel, NSCC, potassium outward rectifying channel, KORC, sodium hydrogen antiporters, source 1, vacuolar sodium hydrogen exchanger, NHX, and hydrogen calcium antiporter, CAX1. Sodium extrusion from plant cells is powered by electrochemical gradient generated by hydrogen ATPases, which permit the sodium hydrogen antiporters to couple passive movement of hydrogen inside along the electrochemical gradient and extrusion of sodium out of cytosol. The stress signal sensed by SOS3 activates SOS2 which activates SOS1. Regulation of iron for example sodium, potassium and calcium homeostasis by SOS and related pathways. High salinity sodium stress initiates a calcium signal that activates the source pathway. The signal first activates phospholipase C, PLC which hydrolases phosphatidyl inositol biphosphate PIP2 to generate inositol triphosphate IP3 and diacylglycerol that is DAG resulting in an increased level of calcium ions. This change in cytosolic calcium ions is sensed by a calcium sensor such as SOS3 which interacts with the SOS2 protein kinase. This SOS3 and SOS2 protein kinase complex phosphorylates SOS1, a sodium hydrogen antiporter resulting in an efflux of excess sodium ions. The SOS3 SOS2 complex interacts with and influences other salt mediated pathways resulting in ionic homeostasis. This complex inhibits HKT activity, low affinity sodium transporter thus restricting sodium entry into the cytosol. SOS2 also interacts and activates the vacuolar sodium hydrogen exchanger NHX resulting in the sequestration of excess sodium ions further contributing to sodium ion homeostasis. Calnexin and calmodulin 
cam or other calcium binding proteins can also interact and activate the NHX or other transporters. The hydrogen calcium antiporter CAX1 has been identified as an additional target for SOS2 activity reinstating cytosolic calcium homeostasis. ABA is synthesized from beta carotene via the oxidative cleavage of neoxanthin and conversion of xanthosin to ABA via ABA aldehyde. Stresses including salinity stress stimulate ABA biosynthesis and accumulation by activating genes involved in ABA biosynthesis pathway which itself could be mediated by a calcium dependent phosphorylation cascade. ABA can also upregulate the expression of ABA biosynthesis genes by a calcium signaling pathway. Transcriptional regulatory network of cis acting elements and ABA dependent transcription factors involved in salinity stress gene expression. Lastly, let's talk about the transcriptional regulatory network of cis acting elements and ABA dependent transcription factors involved in salinity stress gene expression. Osmotic stress signaling generated by salinity stress seems to be mediated by transcription factors such as DREB2A, DREB2B, AREB1 and MYC or MYB transcription activators which interact with DRE or CRT, ABRE and MYCRS or MYBRS elements in the promoter in the promotion of gene expression respectively. Arabidopsis MYC2 and Arabidopsis MYB2 act cooperatively to activate the expression of ABA inducible genes such as RD22. Transcription factor binding sites are represented as rectangles at the bottom of the figure. Salinity works mainly through the SOS pathway reinstating cellular ionic equilibrium. To summarize, we can say that studies which are involved in studying the strategies adapted for abiotic stress tolerance in plants are very important to increase the crop productivity and yield. This is a multidisciplinary field where biochemistry, molecular biology and genetic engineering is involved to enhance and to make the plants tolerant to abiotic stress. Thank you.